And now, on with the show. Shocking! On this video, Doug's Home Arcade showcasing my creature from the Black Lagoon Pinball Machine by Bally. This was released in 1992. Now, for those who are not aware, this is actually a Williams machine with a Bally name on it. At this point of the game, Williams had bought Bally and was sticking the Bally name on Williams made machines. Now this machine I played for the very first time in 1992 when it first came out on a local arcade. Instantly fell in love with the theme of the game. I like the whole 50's drive-in movie theater theme. A uh, major connection for me. So I spent a lot of time going to the drive-ins for many years and I'm a totally 50's fanatic. And also my first car was a 60L Camino and followed by a 60 Impala. And I like the fact that the car right in the middle with the bat eyes, that's a 59 Chevy. So pretty much same car as the 60, but just a little bit different looks. But same uh, platform and body, basically. So I thought that was cool. So when I played this for the very first time, I thought the game was okay. It didn't quite click with me at first, but the more I played it and started to learn how to play the game, understand the rules, I really fell in love with this game. The music is great, the sounds are excellent, they really did a good job on capturing the whole um, theme that's going on. Love the artwork. Now in 90, end of 95, somewhere 96, don't remember exactly, uh, this actual machine that you're looking at I was able to purchase and this is that same machine that I played for the first time in 92 at the uh, at golf land is where it was I was not too far from my house so I've owned this machine ever since it's been about 26 years now roughly still in very good condition haven't done too much with it a couple of plastics I've had to replace and the only other modifications I've done, obviously the color display is the the one. Uh, this was the very one of the first games that I put a color display in. I had this and an Adams Family, and I'm not into putting mods in machines. I like keeping things original. I just like that original look. But I decided to try out the color display, and I was hooked. When I put it in this machine, I'm like, okay, I'm going to put these color displays in all of my machines. It was well worth it because um, you see things that you normally don't see when it's all one color so major improve, improvement highly recommended the other change was I put lights in the pop bumpers the factory did not do that and I believe the major reason was because to change the bulbs it's a nightmare you gotta pull the ramps out to get them uh, changed the only thing they had down there was those inserts on the playfold that lit up. So this whole area, little swamp area here, that was kind of dark. So I decided to change those. Um, probably did that about maybe, oh, ten years ago or so. And I'm happy with that change. The only bad thing is, is from your normal playing level, you don't see the inserts light up as much because the light from the pop bumpers kind of um, blocks that all out. Hologram is working all the way and hasn't really given me any problems all these years. Cabinet is in very nice condition. Absolutely in beautiful condition. Now the only argument I have with this game, I wish it came out a little later because it would have been really nice to have the DCS sounds 
in this machine. So this is uh, pre-digital sounds. Uh, the Indiana Jones that I have right there. That's the first game with that uh, sound system. And there's a big difference in between the two. Uh, just would have been nice if this was uh, one of those machines. And the other is it's a two ball multiball. I'm a three ball multiball fan. Two is just a little, it's tough, uh, especially on this game uh, to keep two going. It's a pretty good workout. But due to that fact, I think it also keeps the excitement of the game. It's not a very easy game to play. Uh, it's still pretty challenging after all these years, and I still enjoy it. And uh, this is a game that I have no reason right now to ever get rid of or any plans to. So it's pretty much going to stay as one of my personal collection games in my collection. A lot of little hidden Easter eggs on this game. Uh, also has a great uh, video mode with the boxing mode. And uh, I love the move your car. I also like the fact that that same move your car is in uh, the Flintstones and Judge Dredd as well, Pinball Machine. They're all from the same designer who made this game, so that's pretty awesome. But uh, excellent game. Very excellent game. Enjoy this game a lot. Alright, I'm going to go and pause for a moment and we'll get a game started so you can see in action. Thank you.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know.